Hello, DC fans slash TMNT fans. This is JR369. Welcome back for another figure review. Today, I'll be taking a look at the DC Collectibles Batman vs. TMNT 2-pack that features Alfred Pennyworth and Michelangelo, the party dude, by DC Collectibles. Now, for the packaging-wise, it's the usual... Batman vs. Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles packaging. You got the GameStop with exclusive printing on there. And it does have the 18 pieces here. And just to say the DC Collectibles mirror thing going on here. You can see the window exposing the figure and the accessories. Alfred and Michelangelo 2 pack. Batman vs. Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles logo on the top here. Same thing here. And also you get the little shell there. And also two people who are credited for making the figures like Alfred sculpted by Josh Shutton and Michelangelo sculpted by Jonathan Matthews DC collectibles logo on here and on the back here you got there's like the little bio about the um the Batman versus TMNT movie bio which I'm not going to let you pause because if you watched my Rachel Cool and Shredder figure review, you already know that. Well, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, it's basically the same. And then there's like, I think there's the bio with this one on Alfred and, and Michelangelo. And on the bottom here, you got other figures from this wave like Batman and Leonardo, Robin and Raphael, Batgirl and Donatello, and Rage or Raz Al Cool. And Shredder, which is I did a review while while years ago. So that's about it for the packaging. Now let's release Michelangelo and Alfred Pennyworth out of the package. Here we got Alfred and Michelangelo out of the package. Let's start off with Pennyworth here. Now the head likeness to well actually not much to the actor that who is voiced by. But I really like how they captured the likeness to the character from the cartoon animated film. Not too bad at all. Not too bad. Very well sculpted look on him. And also he does have that little stern expression on him. Because Alfred was looked like that throughout the movie. Like not impressed and all that. <laughs> Very hilarious anyway. Now I'll take a look at the outfit here. You can see the little butler outfit that he is wearing. You get the little bow tie there you can see the little rope the little t rope for the holding on the, the tie and you can see the collar there some sculpted buttons on the shirt and and sculpted buttons on the vest area there you can see the little black lines where the next to the shirt is on the coat here nothing much on the coat just plain old black but you get a little sculpted collar on the coat there and also it's funny enough you can see you can have like the little cape tail thing whatever it's called and you see like the stitching line sculpted on the uh, the back of his jacket here you see the little white sleeves there on the um, sleeves uh, the gloves there's nothing much to talk about the gloves here because it's just plain on white you can see his skin here on there. Nothing much on the, the legs, just plain old black. And you get the little fancy shoes there with the sculpted shoelaces on top. Not too bad at all. Very well painted perfectly. And on the bottom, there's no... Wow, there's no legal stuff. But there's no pegos to modern feet. Yeah. So overall for Alfred, not not too bad at all. Very well. They did a really nice job sculpting the figure from the animated suit from the animated film. Not too bad at the sculpting, not too bad at the painting. Everything with this figure looks perfect. So that's about it for Alfred here. Now let's move on to Michelangelo. Now the head sculpt on him. Not too bad with the likeness to the character from the animated series. I mean, the animated film. Not too bad. You get a little bandana 
wrapped around his face here. You can see that little thing that hold on to his bandana. You can see the little shell there with the little black lines on there. And you can see there's an M for Michelangelo. And you can see the holster for his his nunchucks. Now you can see take a look at the back of the shell here. You get some texturing with the shell there. And more black lines on the back of the arms. You can see the 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 elbow pads. The knee pads there and more black lines sculpting on to it. You can see like the fisted hand here, you get like three fingers. You could like the little I think I mentioned elbow pads, right? I don't know, I forgot. And more black lines on the, the legs and the feet area. You can see the two toes because they're all turtles. And on the bottom there's some legal stuff and no pickles in the bottom feet as well. Overall, for Michelangelo, I gotta admit, they did really a, a perfect job with him. And also, there's like a little mess mess paint there on the, um, the, you cannot see that. Let's focus on that. Yeah, you can see the little messy paint there on the elbow pads. So, yeah, you might be careful purchasing the figure. But overall, it's still a good looking figure. Now, for articulation, both have the same articulation that... Both have the head rotation, the hinder on the ball joint. Both have arms rotation that goes in and out. Both have button at the elbows, rotate at the elbows as well. Let's take off the hands here. If you take off the hand, you can see like the where the area does have like the rotation on the um, the lower arm here and it does have the hinge movement but if you put on the um the hands on the figure it does have the little ball joint there on the top of the hands as well there's some um, well for Michelangelo I'm, yeah there's like a little bit of waist rotation but Oh, there we go. There's like a little waist rotation movement. And legs can kick forward and back. In and out. And both of them have like rotation at the out. The, the foot. The legs. Both have been at the knees. Double jointed the knees. Like so. And look, you can see Michael Ancho can kick his own behind. For Alfred here, you cannot like make him kick his own behind because of that. That's a tail piece there on the coat that's been hindering on the articulation. Both had rotation at the foot. And the ankles does go pivot forward back and ankle pivot side to side. Ooh yeah, ankle pivot. I know who loves ankle pivot. For articulation, they're not too bad. You can still make great possibilities with these figures. Yeah, I cannot go on Alfred because they're, he has the same articulation as I mentioned with Michelangelo. Now, for accessories-wise, Michelangelo does come with several accessories. He does come with the pair of holding hands for the nunchucks and the pizza. And two chopping hands, karate chop hands. That's pretty hilarious. And does come with a slice of pizza. And two nunchucks. And for Alfred here, he does come with Michelangelo's skateboard, which is at the end of the movie. He did Michelangelo give this as gift his skateboard to Alfred as a gift, so that belongs to Alfred's now. And of course, like Michelangelo, he does come with a slice of pizza. And Alfred here does come with the um a mug. It's a little handle there. There's nothing much there. And it does come with several interchangeable hands. You get like the, um, like the, uh, okay or, haha, I got your hands. Or the holding pizza hands, like so. Just like that. 
or maybe it is or maybe it could be holding the cup yeah maybe maybe so you get also other two holding hands and this one hand here is like holding for a gun I mean he didn't come with a gun so yeah I'm not, I'm not sure about this this hand and now for this hand it's um I'm guessing it's for holding the mug if I believe like this yeah probably likes like that if I'm not correct and also he does come with two open palm hands I guess they're supposed to like holding the skateboard like so. Yeah. And now let's take a look at the skateboard here. Now the skateboard, there's nothing much on the on the the bottom, on the top here. You could like the little screw holes there as well. But if you look in the bottom, you can see like some nice printing there. Like you get a little the sh the shell there and the ninja star and that dangerous thing here. The wheels, not too bad at all. Very well sculpted. But I really wish they roll like this. But sadly, they don't roll. I have no idea why. DC Collectibles did not make the, the skateboard roll. Eh. I really like to see that. Now let's from, let's take off the hands for Michelangelo. And replace it with the holding hands. So I can pose him holding the nunchucks and the pizza. Mmm. Pizza. <laughs> Come on. There we go. Now let's put one nunchuck in the um, onto his holster. There we go. Now let's take out the hand here. Place it with the other one. Doo -doo -doo. There we go. And now I'll put the slice of pizza on him. Let me do this off camera. Do, do, do. There you go. Now you have Michelangelo ready to battle while eating the pizza. <laughs> I wish I could do the same thing for Alfred, but I don't have time for that. I mean, I do like him, but I still don't have time for switching the hands on him. So overall, I really do like this two pack so much. I really like the sculpt and the paint apps. Well, the paint apps is a bit messy on Michelangelo's uh, right elbow pad, elbow pad there. But hey, it's a really a, a nice well for your DC or your Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles shelf. Yeah, like if you like get the, like the two pack of the Batman versus TMNT figures, you probably want Mike. Put Alfred on the DC shelf and put Michelangelo in the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle shelf. For these figures, they look really great. Very well sculpted. The paint apps looks great. Both of these figures are really fantastic. Highly recommend getting these at your local GameStop. With, while they're on clearance for about 14 bucks. Yep, 14 bucks instead of the 15. Oh no, I'm sorry. Instead of the 50 bucks retail. That's how I got these in my from the GameStop app. I shouldn't got the one from the Rachel Cool one. Well, pretty much the Rachel Cool and Shredder are still the regular price. Now for my rate, I'm gonna give the DC Collectibles Batman versus TMNT two pack of Alfred and Michelangelo a 8.5 out of 10. So that's about it. 
make sure to tune in for new videos daily don't forget to subscribe like this video share this video and comment on this video don't forget to turn on the bell icon so you can be notified of new videos after you subscribe so you won't miss any new uploads and you can be part of the notification squad finally follow me on instagram and twitter both links will be in the description down below that's all i can say this is the dc collectibles batman versus tmnt 2 pack of alfred pennyworth and michelangelo figure by dc collectibles of course and this is jar369 thank you for watching and i'll see you in the next review